So today we received our first allotment of HK Models 148 scale Lancaster Bomber. Uh, this has been one highly anticipated kit since it was announced they were doing it. Uh, this is the first 48 scale uh, Lancaster since the Tamiya kit, which I believe is probably at least 30, 30, 35 years old, if not older. It's a, it's a venerable kit. I've seen many of them built up and uh, with a lot of skill and work you can make them look spectacular. But with current state-of-the-art molding and whatnot, and more detail and more accuracy, hopefully, let's see what we got. Let's let's take a quick peek and see what all the fuss is about. So we have a beautiful, attractive boxing. It's not a huge box, about the size of the Tamiya one. We have a nice color instruction manual. I think Wingnut Wings kind of set the bar for instruction manuals and any kit that calls itself a classic after that is going to try to keep up with that trend. Beautiful color renditions, color schemes, decal placement markings. Your color guide has AK Interactive Tamiya, Gunze Mr. Hobby. You're not restricted to one brand of paint and you can surely find cross references for the one you like the best. You have beautifully separately packaged clear parts. They have cardboard so they don't get broken and they're in plastic so they don't get scratched by the other parts. Nice touch. Molding looks up to the current standards. You have finely recessed detail. You have lots of detail on the uh, ailerons. You know, subtle riveting. Very nice from all appearances. Scads of parts. So, if you don't know what a 48 scale Lancaster looks like, there's basically the fuselage, and there's half the wing. So this will give you an idea of the size of this beast when it's done. It's manageable. A lot of people complain that the 30 second scale kits were just way too large. And if you don't have a large workbench, it could have been problematic. That being said, I'd love to get one built and hung in the store, but that's another thing. More wings. Plethora. Lots of parts. You know, fine looking detail parts. Interior bits. Nice wheels. Already flattened. I don't know if you can see them in that picture or not. I'm kind of behind the light so you don't get the glare on the packaging. I was made to understand this model, you know, has other variants designed in the, in the parts breakdown, so they can do other variants of it. So the part count doesn't look extreme. There's a nice poster of the, of the plane for your model room. And they have decent looking decals. And a little set of etched brass metal. You can see it better. Not too much glare. So on all, this looks to be an exciting new kit. Uh, we have them in stock for sale now. Check them out on our website. I'll put a link at the end of the video at the bottom. Uh, please consider subscribing to our e-newsletter to keep on top of all the new releases that come into the store. And uh, hopefully we'll have somebody building one soon so we can show you what the built model looks like. As I say, this is a very exciting release. We ordered them from several suppliers in case of, you know, you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket in case somebody gets badly scooped. So we ordered some from the United States, which we've received already, and our Canadian supplier expects his in two to three weeks approximately. They're on a container coming over from the Orient. So if we run out in the meantime, don't worry, there's plenty more on the way. This is going to be a kit that we will want to have in stock for a long time. We also tend to stock Belcher bit details, uh, resin details, which I'm sure he'll be checking to make sure they work with this kit. And Mike also puts RCAF uh, Lancaster decals out, which will also be useful for this kit. So stay tuned. As I say, we put this kind of stuff uh, when it arrives new on our website, and we have it featured in our newsletter. Uh, it's my understanding Mike will be taking time off in June. He will be shutting down for a little while. So if stuff gets hard to get, it will come back again. He's not fully up right. So anyways, thanks for watching my video. We hope to bring more of them. 
Uh, latest word COVID wise is we should be open on June the 17th unless they change their minds again either either sooner or later. We'll keep you up to date with what's going on there. Again, check our website out for the latest developments, changes in our hours, and COVID procedures. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Thank mm -hmm. you.